This is the widely popular Hanomi H1 Pro V2 ergonomic office chair, and it may be the most adjustable chair I've ever reviewed on this channel. But this is a brutally honest review, and unlike most reviews I've seen that only talk about the positive, I'm going to talk about everything I like and don't like about the chair, and in the end, whether I recommend it for those of you who have it on your list. Now let's roll that unboxing and assembly. Quick disclaimer, Hanomi did send me this chair to review, but is not paying me for this video and in no way gets to influence what I say, hence the brutally honest review. That said, if at the end of the video you decide you want to order one for yourself and found this video helpful, consider not only hitting that subscribe button and notification bell, but using the link in the description which will not only support the channel, but help you get $20 off the retail price. The H1 Pro V2 comes in two sizes, standard for heights between 4'11 and 5'10, and extra high for heights between 5'10 and 6'9. Comes in a variety of colors, including black, gray, ice green, coral red, gaming red, and gaming yellow, and at the time of this video has a retail price of $619. As we saw in the unboxing, it's one of the easiest chairs to assemble out of the box, and once put together, comes with an impressive 16 adjustable points to really customize the chair to your individual body. Aside from the tilt mechanism and the piston, the entire chair is made out of hard plastic and mesh, but it doesn't feel brittle and cheap like other chairs I've tried, and feels as premium as a plastic body chair can feel. Now let's start from the headrest and work our way down, talking about everything along the way. Starting with the Fusion Max 3D headrest, which is an impressive 15 inches wide and has two adjustable points, one on the back end to raise and lower its overall height, and one on the inside of the headrest to tilt into place. Now this is the first headrest I've tried that can be adjusted so it supports you at the base of your skull and is a big improvement over the typical headrest most chairs have. If you've seen my videos, you know I'm not a fan of headrests in general and typically remove them altogether or set them back so I don't feel them. I don't like to feel when my head is being pushed forward, but the Fusion Max really does help me get a perfect posture. Well done Hanomi on having a headrest I actually like. Moving down to the backrest, which at its widest point is about 22 inches wide and should support most even those with broad shoulders. It's easy to adjust to fit your curvature. You simply pull it up as it clicks to the next height setting. Once it reaches the top, it'll slide back down to its lowest point. We then have a 3D lumbar support built into the lower half and have these twist knobs on the back to adjust how far back the lumbar support will go. I like to keep it fully flexible so when I sit in the seat my body is telling the chair what to do instead of having the lumbar support only go so far. We move on to one of the most interesting parts of the chair and by far the most customizable I've ever seen, the flip up 5D armrest. And when I first sat in the chair and put the armrest into place, I was thinking this was as far as they go and was immediately thinking of sending it back since there's no way this low height would be able to support my arms when typing. But much to my surprise, you're able to lift up this lever and pull the armrest up to a max height that's perfect for any kind of work from home task or gaming with a keyboard and mouse and lines up perfectly with my desk. If you've got an electric height adjustable desk, it's even better. And the fact you can lower them back down, which puts them at the perfect position so you can game using a controller in your lap is just another bonus, add another positive to the list. So you can adjust the height, but you can also slide the tops forward and back in and out, and tilt them inward and outward. And another first I've seen in a chair is if you tilt the armrest outward, you're able to pull the entire armrest back and out of the way, making this the perfect chair for those who play instruments or just want a chair that assumes the praying mantis attack position. 
My only gripe is I wish the top material that your forearms rest on were a little softer and more gel-like as I did experience some slight soreness after some time, but that was only as I was adjusting to the chair. Overall, it's been solid. We then take a look at what I consider to be the most important part of a chair because I've sat in some that feel like pillows and some that feel like wood, the seat. It's wrapped in the same mesh that covers the headrest and backrest and measures in at about 20 inches wide. On the right side, we have two switches, one that lets you raise and lower the height of the chair and the other that lets you slide the seat base forward and back. So whether you have shorter or longer legs, you should be able to find the perfect depth. On the left side, we have a single switch that locks and unlocks the recline of the chair. You can unlock it, recline to whatever position you like, and then lock it into place and it'll hold that setting until you flip the switch again. And when it comes to mesh, the big question is how long is it going to hold up over time? And unfortunately, there's just no way to know that without owning it and seeing how it maintains its integrity with daily use. Uh, the one thing I'll say is that after using it for about a week, I find that after a few hours of sitting in the perfect posture position, I sometimes start to feel a tightening around my piriformis muscle area, maybe the tailbone. It's almost as if the tension of the mesh is compressing at that specific spot. It's not a major issue at this point, and if I move to a more relaxed position, it goes away, but just something to take note of that could be a potential issue over time. Now that brings us to these retractable pull-out leg rests. Now they work just fine. I'm just personally not a fan of leg rest on any chair unless somebody develops a set I really like. It's just not something I personally use and with these specific leg rests, I tend to feel them rubbing against the back of my calves quite often when they're put away. I also find that when you pull them out and try to recline, your weight forces you back forward. Or the trick is to pull them out, then recline, lock it in place, and then lay back. That brings us to the tilt mechanism, which has a rotating lever you use to adjust the recline tension, a class four hydraulic piston for height adjustment, and then your five star wheel base with casters, which even though is made of plastic is substantial enough that it matches the chair's quality build. It can support up to 300 pounds and when not in use has a super unique ability to fold so you can slide it under your desk if you want it completely out of the way. The chair also comes with an impressive 10 year standard warranty, which can be upgraded to a complimentary extended warranty of 12 years. It also comes with a standard five year warranty, which covers the lumbar support, central mechanism hub, the armrest mechanism and caster mechanism, but can be upgraded to an extended seven year warranty as well. To get those extended warranties, you'll need to take a photo or video with the chair and post it on social media with the hashtag Hanomi, then copy the URL and submit it to Hanomi. And despite the few concerns, understand that chairs like mattresses are an incredibly personal thing and what works for one person may not work for the next. User experiences will vary and if review videos and online reviews are anything to go by, the vast majority are going to really like this chair. What I will say is that after ditching my gaming chair for a week and adjusting to this one, then going back to my gaming chair, it'll definitely open your eyes up to see just how hard those gaming chairs really are. At the end of the day, would I recommend it? Absolutely. And Hanomi makes that really easy by offering a 30 day risk free return period. Take the time to try it out and odds are you're probably going to end up keeping it. And don't forget to use my link to get $20 off, but that's going to wrap things up for today. I'll see you next time.